Hi, I'm Robin Haller from Carbondale, Illinois, and this is my quilt, Carnival. The inspiration from this quilt came from three different sources. The first is always the fabric, and this orange background fabric is a King's uh, 98 or 90 by 90 piece of sun dyed fabric that I, uh, a hand, hand dyed sun printed fabric that I bought from a vendor from South Africa here in Houston about 12 years ago that sat in my closet until inspiration hit. The second point of inspiration came from um, pictures that I had seen in magazines and newspapers of clock works. And that was the inspiration particularly for this first uh, quilt block that's uh, taken almost directly from the image I'd seen in the in the magazine and the third inspiration came from Judy Coates Perez who in a class a couple of years ago in Houston um, was talking about the virtues of wool batting and I had been purchasing at 50 cents a square the samples of wool batting here over the years and I had 15 of them. So that's why there are 15 blocks. And what I did was cut the fabric into the blocks, into the 15 inch, or not 19 inch squares because they were 18 inch uh, wool batting squares. And I, I did each one separately. The idea was they were gonna hang as a panel, five panels of three blocks. And that's when the first problem arrived. They didn't hang straight. So I had to come up with a creative way to deal with um, what went wrong with this quilt. The first thing that went wrong with this quilt. But it's not a mistake until you can't fix it. And also a mistake is nothing but a design opportunity. So my design opportunity was to do all these blocks and it was very easy to do one 18 inch square I could twirl it around under my machine. I could do a lot of, of um, machine quilting. And I decided to recreate the circles and the rings in the quilting. And so there are circles and rings done just in thread along with and on top of all of the, uh, the fused applique pieces of fabric that I had. And I used every template I could come up with to, to do the circles. I don't cut very well, but I used um, a CD is a perfect template size. And I can't remember what this one was. This is a film canister. This is the top of an aerosol can. Um, this is a dinner plate. This is probably another dinner plate. And just use what you have. So the way I constructed the quilt was to do each block individually, including backing it. And the, the backing is just every orange fabric I had in my stash. And so I have about, I think I have five or six different orange backs. And then I, I fuse, put binding around each one and fused it. And so I did each square and then put them up on the design wall and then added more um, circles. I wanted, I liked this, but I, and I decided to carry it up. So I took the circles and kind of had them move through the, uh, the quilt to give an, Im uh, give an image of bubbles. The working title for this piece was Orange Knee High because when I was a kid that was what I that was the that was the soda of choice and orange knee high used to make bubbles go up my nose so I called this orange knee high while I was working on it but the more I put green and purple and blue and orange circles on it the less orange it got and I decided I really needed to change the title the uh, Olympics in London were going on while I was making this quilt in the summer of 2012 and during the closing ceremonies when they were passing the flame to Rio the title came to me and I decided to call it Carnival. One of the things that occurred during the making of this quilt 
was it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. The picture that was in my head was changing and it I was struggling with, with what was going up on the wall. And I remembered something that I had read by an author who was describing the characters in her novel as wanting to go their own way and she just had to let them. And I just decided I had to do that. This, this quilt had to go its own way. I've had people ask me, because I've had quilts in the Houston show um, several times, and I've also won a couple of times, they ask me how to enter, or and I try to encourage people to enter, to enter your own local shows, to enter any show that accepts from a photograph, um, to, to learn from what the jurors say, and I also try to tell them that their photographs need to be good because I took a class from Libby Lehman once and one of the uh, most helpful things she said was that when they're jurying quilts into an exhibit, the jurors literally take six seconds or less to decide whether a quilt should go in. So you have to have graphic. You, your quilt has to show up well. I also encourage people who are entering shows for the first time or the second time not to take rejection personally. I've had quilts rejected by one show, accepted the next year. I've had quilts rejected by Paducah and they've gotten into Houston and vice versa. So it, you don't know what your competition is when you're entering a show. You don't know what the jurors are looking for and you don't know what else is out there. Um, so you just do your best work, get it photographed well, and go for it.